Oh, hey guys, I lost you. There you are. Good evening, everyone. Chat is on fire tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I have a low, low internet sign. Don't do that to me, internet. Come on, you got to recover. I need you right now. We got stuff to do. Come on, internet. Am I coming through choppy? My internet's acting, acting like a fool. <clears throat> Hopefully it fixes itself, y'all. We'll see what happens here. Um, okay, so we're diamond painting tonight, in case you didn't know that already. So if you have your diamond painting kit and you want to do it with me, you can grab it now. Otherwise, you can work on whatever you want to. Now I'm going to make sure I close... Sometimes I've noticed with our internet that <clears throat> if I have things going on another device, it, it kind of drains it. Um, okay, so I found some really cool diamond painting stuff on Amazon tonight, and I added it to my list. I want to show you guys. Um, I ordered a few things to make life easier because I told you guys I really wanted to get, Oh, there it goes again. Just let me know if it's, if it's, if it starts being a problem. Um, I let you guys, I told you guys before that I wanted to get some of the accessories from paint gem. Um, if you didn't know, paint gem.com is where I got my kits and I have a discount code there. So if anyone wants to get some cool diamond painting kits, they have them. And you can also get a discount by using my code. So here, I'm going to show you guys real quick what is going on uh, with that. So check out, this is paintgem.com. See, it's really easy to find paintgem.com. And they have all these really cool small diamond painting kits. And what I really like about them is you can do one within like, it took me about two and a half hours, but I was sitting here talking to you guys. So if you're just sitting there at home doing it, um, you could get it done in probably an hour, two hours, depending on your skill level. But they have some really cute ones. There's an 80s one. I really like this 80s one. It makes me smile. Um, they have, I, I really like the National Parks kits. They're really pretty. I was very tempted to, to get one of those. The butterflies. They've got all kinds of them. And they're all small. So they're easily digestible. So you don't have to commit to doing a kit. Um for days and days and weeks and weeks and forever. And mind you, the big ones are phenomenal and they look amazing when they're done. But these ones are good for little short bursts. The flowers are really pretty too. So if you're interested in getting yourself some to do along with me, um, definitely check out paintgem.com. And when you go to check out, uh, there's a discount code spot in the cart. Let's see if I can find it. Um, there's a discount code spot in the cart where you can put in my referral code, which is um, Zen with Nana. So I'll type it into chat. So you just go to paintgem.com and you put in this code Zen with Nana when you when you check out in the coupon spot and they'll give you a discount. So there's that. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you real quick before we get started are the things that I picked up tonight. By the way, the stuff that people were, everybody was asking about last night um, for the vision boarding, I did make sure all of that was on the Zen Zone uh, page of our 
Amazon store. So here we go. I'm going to share screen one more time and show you guys the Amazon store. So if you haven't been here, um, you can easily get here by using our Linktree link, which is like everywhere. I post it everywhere. It's the Linktree uh, slash team AMC Anna. And then there's an Amazon button right on there. It'll take you to our store, which is right here. And on our store, you'll find um, one of the pinned lists is A3 Zen Zone. You can see there's 92 items in there. We're, we're filling it up. And so if you click and open it up, um, you can see here's the, the quotes and the vision board magazines and the scissors and the push pins that I was using last night that people were asking about. This is the set of alcohol markers um, that I have arriving tomorrow for coloring, blending that I'm going to be using, trying out. And these are the things I found for diamond painting tonight. So there's this um, diamond painting sealant. We were talking about how to seal these so that you can put them in a frame and display them. And they have a limited time deal going. And I did the math, you guys, because it says if you buy any three, you save 10%. So I did the math and I compared the cost of three of the four ounce bottles with three of the eight ounce bottles and one of the 12 ounce bottles. And it's cheapest to go with three of the eight ounce bottles. If you get three eight ounce bottles and you use the discount code, um, it takes it down to a buck 73 an ounce, which is the best deal. So there's sealant if you need that. And um, there's a light pad that I picked up. Everybody was talking about having a light pad. Can you guys see that? Is it opening? It's opening up in a new tab. Hold on. No, the new markers arrive tomorrow. Um, here we go. Sorry, I have to switch over. So this is the light pad. Lots of people were talking about they have a light pad and it works really well for them. So I decided to get this one um, because it had good reviews and I can plug it into my little battery pack. So I'm going to try this out and see how I like it. See how I like having light shining from underneath my project. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a problem that it's so much bigger than what I'm working on. So I'll try it after I get it. I'll show you guys and I'll let you know. Uh, how it is and then you can decide and let's see going back here there are a couple different kinds of pens that come with tips that uh, look like they're much more comfortable to hold than the one that comes in the kit I have and they even come with some extra wax so that's always nice and there's like a bunch of different tips however they're still plastic tips so I found this kit, which has a roller on the end of it, which is super cool, and it comes with metal tips. So I picked up one of those, and they have that comes with wax as well. And then the last thing that I found is this awesome case. I was looking at the case on the other side, on the paint jump site. Um, it holds, I think, 36 bottles. This one has 120, which that's pretty significant. Like that's going to hold pretty much everything you ever get. Um, I thought it was really pretty. It comes with a cone so you can pour the gems into the bottles without spilling them everywhere. And it comes with a bunch of accessories for diamond painting. And so if you're someone who does this regularly, this might be a cool kit for you to consider. Um, it's only 33 bucks for what you get. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. And, and they have different styles of cases. Um, there's also a smaller one if you don't need that much space. If you don't think you need that many jars, there's one that has half as many, 60, for just $19.99. So there you go. That's the stuff that... I found when I was digging around today. Uh, Cheryl says, question, are the alcohol markers similar to the Copic? Yes, they are. And that's why I got those because my husband uses the Copic markers. 
um, because he's an illustrator and that's industry standard. That's the top of the line alcohol markers. However, as you probably know, they're extremely expensive. So I did not want to buy Copic markers for myself because I am not an artist like he is and we don't have that kind of money. <laughs> so I did a bunch of research one night to find out if you can't afford Copic, what's the next best thing? And that's what I found was those, um, they're Hawaiian. Um, I think it's a Hawaiian brand. They're, it's, on my, it's on my affiliate page. You can check them out. Um, you get a pretty nice set for the price, 120 different colors. And yeah, they, they are, you know, not quite as good. I think the biggest complaints, like the difference between these and Copic were that the plastic casing, like the, the handle part is not as like long-term durable as the Copic markers because they spend they get like a higher quality plastic, but it's not like cheap and flimsy. It's just not quite the same. And then the other um, difference is that they were saying some of the colors don't exactly match the caps. And so I was like, for my purpose, for just live streaming and coloring, more than good enough. Um, but yeah, the difference in the 120 piece set that I got is a hundred dollars and like a 120 piece set of Copic markers is like $350. So definitely a huge cost savings with these. And I'm sure they work just fine for casual users. Okay. So here we go with the diamond painting. Let me get another light going. I feel like it's kind of dark back here. Some more, more light. How's that? Is that better? Ooh, that's too blue. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Chelsea says, I believe I have the ones you just got and I love them. The color is they color nicely and blend well. Yeah, I really like my my felt um, brush markers that I've been using, but they just don't blend. You know, they say they're for blending, but they really, really don't do a great job of blending. So I'm excited to get some markers that will actually blend and, and explore what I can potentially do with them and, and watch my coloring get better and better over time. All right, so we are doing a comment tonight. I had Anna look at the box and tell me the ones that she really wanted. And this is what she picked out. She picked out the Eagle Nebula, Ursa Major, Milky Way, which we did the first night, Comet, and Supernova. So I decided to do Comet tonight. All right, we're going to start with the center, which is M. The white ones for 5,200. That would be these here. Larry says, I ordered the So Color art markers a while back, and the colors look nothing like the caps. Very frustrating. You know, when I was doing my research, that's one of the biggest complaints about the, the lower quality alcohol markers, is that the colors didn't match. And so this one seemed to be, like, really the next best thing out there. Of course, there's, like, prismatic and stuff like that, but... This, these seem to be better than that. So I figured I'll give it a go. I'm wondering if the light from underneath is going to make this like shiny. Like once they're on there, is it going to make them even more glittery than they already are? I'm very eager to try the light table. I just, like I said, my only concern is because it's so much bigger, 
is it going to be like all this light coming out from here? I might have to find, I might have to figure out a way to um, cover it where, where it's, the, where I don't have an opening, you know, I might take like a piece of black construction paper or something and just create like a frame so that the light is coming through underneath my diamond painting, but not everywhere else. But I, would, I wanted to get a big one. So if I wanted to do a bigger diamond painting, I would have it. However, if it still doesn't work, then I may just get the one off of Paint Gem, the Paint Gem website where I got the diamond paintings because they have one that's exactly the right size for these little diamond paintings. And that one looks pretty cool too. At some point, I'll do a larger one. Just right now, I, I'm digging the small, small ones for the live streams. So I got a lot done again today. And we are, I think, pretty much like we only have a couple things left to do in the community space. And we're going to start letting more people in this week. Um, I have a meeting with my moderators tomorrow. We're going to go over everything. And um, I think we are going to open it up to the $4.99 Facebook subscribers on Friday. I think we're going to open it up in here to you guys on Thursday. So if you're here Thursday, you'll get early access to the community space. And then the big, big opening for everyone else, for everyone, is on Monday. And we're going to have, I think I'm going to do a Tuesday evening next week. I'm going to do a grand opening live stream where I'm going to walk everyone through how to use the network <clears throat> and all of the things that they can do over there. Kind of give the grand tour because at that point, um, people will have had about uh, over 24 hours to sign up. And I think we're going to do some giveaways for those who sign up in that first, first 24 hours or so. If you basically, if you're signed up by the live stream, we're going to be doing some, some giveaways. So that'll be fun. All right. I think that's all of the white ones. That was pretty quick. Quick and easy. Move on to the C's, which is 747. Pammy, you're heading to Atlantic City on Friday. Very cool. You going? Is it like a leisure trip or a business trip or what are you doing there? 747. Let's see. All right. Some of these I think I'm going to get rid of because I know we're not using pinks. Um, light purples and oranges and yellows and reds not using those tonight so I'm going to make my life a little easier and put those ones aside keep out the ones that we might possibly need access to oh I could potentially need those no reds no yellows look at that that narrows it down quite a lot <clears throat> and we're done with white, so we can put those away as well. 
So what are we looking for? 747. You guys see it anywhere? Oh my gosh, that bag does not want to be picked up. It just made me do it three times. There's another one we don't need. Must be this one. Of course it would be the last one I pick up, right? <laughs> That's not always the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Now life makes just a little bit more sense to me anyway. <laughs> oh, a cheer competition. I see. Atlantic City cheer competition. Very cool. Well, good luck to whoever, whoever is competing that you're rooting for. That's pretty. I like that color. Look at that. It's a really pretty color. It's like a pale mint. Very nice. I'm really excited about that roller pen. That'll be good. Okay. Always the last place you look. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So we're doing C. C, C, C. C. <laughs> I was going to do that merch today, the C merch. Um, and then I had an idea for a different new merch line. I think we're going to start with instead. I'll work on that tomorrow. Really opening this community space has been, it's such a big endeavor and it's really impressive. I think when you guys get in there, you're really going to love it. Very exciting. Definitely a labor of love. Oh, your daughter's a coach and you're helping with hair. Very cool. Sounds like a fun weekend. And busy. How early do you guys have to get up to be there? I remember my gymnastics meet. I always had to get up at like 6.30 in the morning. Get something to eat and go warm up and stretch. And then be checked in. Like probably 8.30 or something crazy. Especially for the invitationals. And there's like a whole bunch of teams competing all day. They start really early and they go all day long. Which I imagine is what the cheer competitions are like. Oh, Charlotte, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Get some rest. We'll talk to you later. Lori says, my grandsons in 7th and ninth grade are heading to New York for nationals and track and field. We live in Michigan. Very cool. It'll be a fun trip. Where in Michigan do you live? Have I asked you that before? You probably have. <laughs> Jean, you got your ex you got your diamond painting tonight. <sighs> Yay! Are you doing it with me? Tammy, luckily we have older girls, so they go later. Oh, you were a gymnastics coach? Very cool. Did you coach in a in a club or for like high school?
That was my first love. I was a gymnast for 12 years. I was actually just talking about that on the last live. I think it was the last one. Maybe it was the one before. Oh, Laura, you're outside of Lansing. Okay, cool. Um, we had a big meet in Midland one time, Lori. It's about the closest. And then I was in Lansing um, in my 30s when I was graduating from community college because there was some um, honors, honor society event at the Capitol building that I had to attend. Other than that, funny enough, spending over 40 years in Michigan, I haven't really been to Lansing that much. Or the areas around it. Just, just Midland, really. Because when we went up north every summer, we would go all the way up to Frankfurt. So... Hillary, you got to work on an agenda for a meeting tomorrow. Cool. Hopefully it goes well. Laura, your daughter's in Mount Pleasant. Mm -hmm. Definitely been to Mount Pleasant. Deb, your boyfriend was in Grand Rapids last Saturday. <laughs> cool. I haven't been to Grand Rapids that much either, being that it's all the way on the other side of the state. Although I did go there one year for a Garth Brooks concert. It's pretty cool. But I never really spent too much time uh, on in the like southwest part of Michigan. It's always either Northwest Michigan or Southeast Michigan, Ann Arbor. Danielle, your son and his fiance had a civil ceremony Sunday before we go to Cancun in April for their wedding. They live in Michigan and I'm in California. Oh, wow. You FaceTime for the ceremony. Congratulations. That's cool. Where are they located in Michigan? Elaine, no, the diamond paintings, um, the little ones like I'm doing now, you're going to find those on paintgem.com. It's P-A-I-N-T-G-E-M dot com. I'll type it into chat. And uh, I have a discount code. So if you find something you like over there and you want to purchase it, then you're going to put in this code when you check out Zen with Nana. And they'll give you a discount for your purchase. They're in Kalamazoo. Oh, cool. Wow, lots of... Lots of Michigan chatter tonight. I love it. Love it. I do miss Mich Michigan at times. Um, just certain things, certain aspects. Like I miss fall and apple orchards, cider mills. I miss up north. I miss Ann Arbor. Other than that, yeah, don't definitely don't miss winter. <laughs> it feels, although it's felt like it's been so cold in Florida, 
It's been so cold this winter for such a long time now. It feels like Michigan fall constantly. And our pool is not a heated pool. And I was telling my mom, my mom was like, well, do you think that the pool is going to be ready to swim in like April or May? And I'm like, mom, after the winter we've had, I will be shocked if the pool is ready for swimming in August. It's so cold. The water, it got down to like 60 degrees. It might have even gone under 60 degrees. Okay. I think we finish that up. Now we're going to move on to four. <laughs> That's interesting. I guess they ran out of letters. Now we're doing numbers. Four is nine, six, four, which is probably this one. Yeah. That color right there. Uh, Amanda, you have regionals for Special Olympics swimming this weekend? Awesome. Are you competing or are you just attending or? Did you know that Anna interviewed a Special Olympics um, Paralympian back when she was four? His name's Adam and he's a Canadian and you can find that interview online. It was very cool to get to know him. Your dad was from Fife Lake. Cool. Can you use a solar cover when the weather is on? You know, we don't, we haven't wanted to do a solar cover because it's such a pain in the butt to put on and take off. And we don't really have space to store it when it's like wrapped up. Um, so we just haven't bothered with all that. It's just kind of a hassle. We could, but also we have a saltwater pool and you know, you really like the pool guy comes every week to take care of it. And it would be a hassle for him as well. And like, it needs to be, I feel like it would throw the pH of the pool off having it covered. So yeah, we've just not gone that route. But we don't own the house. If we owned the house, we would put in a solar heater for the pool but we don't own the house. So we just kind of have to deal with it, but it does suck to have to pay for pool maintenance every week and then not be able to use the pool for so much of the year because it's not warm enough to swim in. I guess one of the downsides of being in the Orlando area versus uh, further South in Florida where it gets warmer and stays warmer longer and the pools are warmer longer. <laughs> yeah, Jan, the weather's been really weird because Aaron and I were just talking this morning. It wasn't like this when we moved down here. When we moved down here in 2022, um, we were swimming in April. Like the end of April, we were swimming in the pool and it was plenty warm enough. And then, you know, at, from May until like October, we were swimming. And then last year, it seemed to be cooler longer. And we couldn't get into the pool last year until the beginning of June. It was just too cold. It would not stay warm. So there was definitely a difference. And now this year, it's been even colder for even longer. So that's why I'm like, man, we'll be lucky if we're swimming by August at this rate. It's definitely changed. And it just seems, it just seems really, really cold consistently for Florida. Like this is, this is not, <laughs> not one of the reasons we moved here. I mean, mind you, it's still better than being up north, of course, where it's like in the teens. But at the point that it's this cold, honestly, it's not that much of a difference because if you're not leaving the house, you're just you're just cold and bundled up anyway. Like I'm wearing long pants and a hoodie, just like I would be back in Michigan. So ultimately, 
it doesn't matter how much colder it is. It's all, it's all kind of the same thing. That was, that was a quick round. I think it's done. Just a little, little sprinkling of number four. Amanda, you're competing. Well, good luck to you. I hope, I hope it goes very well for you. And yeah, that was so funny. And I was like, I want to sell solar panels on by the road. <laughs> She's so silly. I know I miss being out on the porch too, Tammy. I actually almost went out there today. Thought about doing a live out there because it was pretty nice out, but we'll get back out there soon. All right, we're on to 3755. I'm going to do letter D. My color. She always has me cracking up. That child makes me laugh pretty much every single day. And she has made me laugh pretty much every single day since the day she was born. <laughs> She's just, I just love her so much. She's so funny. Sometimes she doesn't even realize like why she's so funny. But the brilliant thing is other times, um, she knows what she's doing. Like she is the perfect straight man. And I will like say the most ridiculous things just to see where she goes with it. And she's so quick witted that we play off each other really well. Like she's really good now at picking up the nuance of what I'm doing and turning it into a hilarious conversation. <laughs> Tammy, you sent that video to your cousin who sells solar panels. That's awesome. Oh, no, Chelsea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm confusing you. I'm doing a different one. Oh, I just noticed there's a D way out here. Almost would have missed that one. It's like way out there all by itself. What? This is the only one, too. There isn't any other ones. There aren't any other ones. Proper grammar. Proper grammar, please. Oh my gosh, Michael, she would be so good at whose line is it anyway? She's so good at improv. She would be so funny. You just never know what's going to come out of her mouth, you know? Last night she said something wacky. Aaron put her to bed and he comes into my office and he says, Anna says to tell you good night. She loves you. And then some crazy, like, off-the-wall, random thing that had nothing to do with anything. I forget what it was now. I have to ask him. Hey, babe. I have to see if he remembers. He might not remember either. But it was just like, what? Like, where did that come from? <laughs> Why? 
So then, of course, I had to think of some random off-the-wall crazy thing, crazy message to send back that was equally random. I know, Hillary. I know. I can count on you. <laughs> I was, I was, I, there's some things that I, I say and then I catch myself and I'm like, that is not the correct way to say that. I usually will correct myself because I do like to, I do like to use proper grammar. Aaron tore apart his entire workspace today because we're moving his bigger desk in there. And it is just like so clean. It's like all the whole space is cleared out. He vacuumed. Now he's in there putting some of it back together. And then tomorrow we're going to get this bigger desk out of here and into there. But the smaller one in here so Anna can sit at it when she's doing book work so I can make sure she's staying on task during the school day and then um and then I'll get his equipment set back up and then he is going to have a much nicer a much bigger setup for his drawing which will be really nice he's going to start live streaming on TikTok on Thursday nights and then either Monday or Tuesday and I'm going to alternate with him. So I won't be doing Zen on both Monday and Tuesday because one of those nights he'll go. And, and we don't want to overlap because we don't want to make people, you know, we don't want to compete and make people have to pick. So we'll decide each week, like who feels like going on Monday and then the other person will will go on Tuesday and then he'll go every Thursday and I will continue most nights. I'll probably do Wednesday and um, Saturday. So I think, I think Zen Zone lives will be like four nights a week usually and sketchy friendly lives will be twice a week. And then I think Sunday night, nobody will be alive. I think. Friday. Does that add up? Four, five, six? Yeah, something like that. I'm going to put together a schedule. I'm going to put it on Google Calendar and it's going to say who's live and when and where and when videos are posted. And then I'll share it with everybody. And then everybody will know what's going on or what the general plan is. Hey, Vera, there, you're not late. There's no late. Whenever you arrive, you are in exactly right on time. We just did D's, right? 3755. I just moved that and I have to put them away. Hold on. I'm I'm making a mess now. I'm causing problems. Yes. Okay. I have to put these ones away. <laughs> Jennifer, you're excited for his TikTok lives? Yeah, he said that he's gonna do um on his TikTok lives, he's gonna draw for his stories. So like the voiceover, the time-lapse voiceovers that he does, he's going to actually do the drawing for those on his TikTok lives. And then he'll take the video and make, turn it into a time-lapse and voiceover it to post the video. So I think it's a good plan. All right. It looks like we're going to do letter E next which is 826. Look at how close these two are. Like, how are they even really different? Do you guys notice a difference? I guess one is just ever so slightly darker than the other. Karen, you're doing a diamond painting elephant. Very cool. I, I hope we get to see pictures of it when you're done. I did, you know, that space that I told you guys I was going to start up over in our community space that where you guys can post pictures. I did start that up. I posted the first one, I think yesterday, um, one of the members shared a picture of kind of like a cardigan that she crocheted. It was really cool. So I put that up to share with everyone. 
And then another member sent me a picture of a really cool color by number that she did that I'm going to post tomorrow. So you guys will be able to share your projects that you're working on with everyone. It'd be cool. Babe? Baby? Here he comes. <coughs> Good night, Amanda. Do you remember what it is that Anna told you to tell me last night? That weird random... Um, she was like... Wasn't it just like, I don't see you tomorrow or something? What? No, it was some really bizarre thing. You were like, Anna said to tell you blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it was like really off the wall. Yeah, well, it was more like she was, she wanted me to, she was trying to, I mean, I would have used the word verbatim, like repeat it. She said, don't yeah. deviate or don't something. Else. Right. She told you to say it exactly. But what she told you to say was very strange. Do you, you don't remember what it was? It was like, good night. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Or something like that. No, no. The last, the third thing was really off the wall. It like had nothing to do with anything. It was like some weird instructions, yeah. like in, in some very technical specific language. And it didn't even relate to going to bed. It was like just some random, yeah. Yeah. it was really funny. I mean, it was, it was funny, but it was like very odd. <laughs> No, that's not unusual. For... Usually if I can't remember, he's not going to remember. But I thought it was worth a try. Tammy, you did a color by number yesterday. Very cool. I got some uh, color by number to do. So I'll do that one night as well. After I get me new markers maybe thank you lisa i mean you know i feel like with the diamond paintings um you can't really take credit for the <laughs> art because it's all pre-planned and all you're doing is putting the gems on that's the same thing i was i wasn't sure if i wanted to get color by number for the same reason because i'm like well it's not really my coloring because they're telling me what color to use and I'm just filling it in, but it's still fun and it'll be nice for the nights when I don't want to have to think about what color to put where you can just follow the instructions and get told what to do. Wow, these E's are hard to see. So this is where I can see the um, the light table underneath making a big difference. These darker colors, it's... The black text on the dark blue background just makes it really difficult. Chris, you're eating some cherry tomatoes and drinking some water. Nice. I love you too much of a free spirit. Well, you don't, you certainly don't need color by number. You, you clearly have a very, you're very talented. You have a knack for making it your own and making it awesome. I need to get Aaron to do another coloring page for us. What do you guys think he should do next? Should we continue with the, the forest and a forest fantasy theme?
No means no. <laughs> yeah. Chelsea, a fox. Fox are cute. Okay, that those are Fs. I need to stick with E's. E. E. Uh-oh. Aaron's saying swear words. Are you okay? Now I hear an L. Baby? Are you all right? You stubbed your toe? Are you going to live? Expletives. I heard expletives. <laughs> Kim, what's your favorite forest animal? Oh, that's a good question. What is my favorite forest animal? Um, hmm. Baby gnome Chris. <laughs> I I love his little old man gnome. Um my favorite forest animal. I do love birds. But I'd probably like some birds in the trees. Um hmm. I like monkeys too, but that's not forest. That's more jungle. What forest animals can you guys think of? Help me out. What do I have to pick from? All I can really think of are like deer. Not very big on deer because they just feel very common. And I tend to like things that are more unique and uncommon. So what are some unique and uncommon forest animals? Raccoons. Raccoons are cute. He did an owl on the bunny painting, but yes, birds would be great. Oh, Jean, it's a challenge. You'll get the hang of it. Don't worry about it. You'll get the hang of it. It's, it's, um, I don't, I don't know if I make it look easy. I just, because I get them in the wrong spot and stuff sometimes too. I have to move them around. Deer, bears, bluebirds, beavers, porcupine, lunar moths. Oh, yeah, moths are really pretty. Fox, wolf, skunk. Hmm. There's got to be more. There's got to be more than that. Squirrels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna Google what are the most common forest animals and let's see what google says forest habitat animals include mammals such as squirrels reptiles like anoles amphibians oh i do like frogs um tiger salamanders birds woodpeckers various insects butterflies and ants National forests are home to more than 3,000 species of wildlife. Um, so we said fox already. Beetles, hedgehogs, lizards, mice, snails. Oh! <gasps> 
I saw a video of snails eating and it was the craziest, craziest thing. Look at this salamander. Look at this. Look at that guy. How cute is he? Fire salamander. He's fancy. Look at those spots on him. Wow. Wow. Badgers, bees, beetles, butterflies, fireflies. Bats. Did you know 32% of Germany's land surface is covered by forests? I did not. I did not know that. It's crazy. So it seems like forest animals are smaller creatures for the most part. What was I working on? <laughs> I'm on E, right? Yes. Okay. Ooh, hard to see. E is hard to see. Turtles. Oh, I do like turtles. Turtles are cool. I need I think I need more. I still have a few in here. Oh look at see this one's off center. Sloppy. Um, and then I still have another few here. So I definitely need some more. Janet, you bought the sticky pads. I saw those to hold your house plant diamond painting. And one to hold the white tray from slipping and it works well. Very cool. I did see those. I, I thought about it, but and I felt like it didn't really move around too much. Um, and I really want to get I really wanted to get a light pad. So You know, another thing that would work, I don't know how, if those sticky pads have to be replaced, you know, like if it's a, a continuous um, expense. But if so, another thing that you could use that would work similarly without actually being sticky and without having to constantly be replaced are those like foamy kind of feeling the drawer liners you know what I'm talking about they come on a roll and you can line your drawers with them but it's kind of like spongy or foamy feeling and you can just cut off like a square of that and everything will will pretty much stick to it but then it's reusable until at some point it starts getting yucky and then you can toss it and cut off another sheet. But I imagine you could use it quite a number of times before that happens. Hi Doreen, good evening. Sasquatch, yes. Yeah, he should do. He should do a Bigfoot or other of those type creatures coloring sheets be fun too
Hmm. Let's see. Are there more? Am I missing some? I, oh, yep. There's a bunch on the outside here I have to do. I just realized on this outer edge, there's uh, H's and A's again, because those are the darker ones. And and there's just like a, a few A's sprinkled in. They're mostly H's, but they look like pretty much the same color. I think I might do the A's first and then go back and do, oh no, that's an F. That's an F. Okay, I think... I think the other ones were E's though. I did I think I did that right. I hope I did. I think. Ooh, that is a pretty comet, y'all. Look at that. I love those colors. Wow. I like that. Hi, Debbie. Turtles and frogs would be cool, Jennifer. In fact, maybe I'll have him do like a pond scene. So that it's a pond in the center with lily pads with turtles and frogs, and then there's some other little woodland creatures around the outside, like uh, um, squirrels and birds and stuff. I think I like that idea very much. That looks so pretty. I'm loving these colors. Um, let me make sure. I don't see any more E's, but I just want to be certain because the F's, the F's are in white lettering, though. I think we're good. I think we're ready to move on to the F's, which is this color here. Florida swamp scene. <laughs> Brittany, he would he would enjoy that. He he always wants to see alligators. He's like, I just want to see them. I don't want to get near them. I just want to see them. He doesn't want to go see them at like the places that have them in captivity. He wants to see an like alligators in the wild. It's such a weird obsession he's had since we moved here. <laughs> yeah, Doreen, you should definitely give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Very relaxing. <clears throat> I should tell him my idea. Have him make some notes. Baby. I don't know if that's going to work. He's going to be like, what the heck was that? <laughs> I have an idea mm -hmm. for my next coloring sheet. Okay. Do you have your phone? You want to take notes? Um, I'll tell you all about it. <clears throat> oh, Janet, you don't have to replace the sticky pad. Just wash it. Oh, that's fantastic. That makes it a really good deal then. Hey Cheryl, thank you. I hope I hope your kiddos feeling better. Hope they're on the mend. Okay, you ready? Yep. <clears throat> I would like, since we're doing this like enchanted foresty kind of thing, mm -hmm. I would like a pond scene with trees on the very outer edge. And in the distance, but as you get closer to the pond, 
it's what do you call it like brush and and then nothing right because you know what I'm saying like you would have trees on the outskirts but then you have some tall grass like foxtails and stuff or yeah, and then as you get even closer to the pond, it, it turns into, like, just the grass, right? It's even lower because it's right near the shoreline. And then on the pond, there's lily pads and cattails. I want frogs and turtles. Am I going too fast? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, tell me when you're caught up. <gasps> you guys, I forgot to tell you. Look what Aaron found on the floor today. Dun, da, da. The missing Lego. <laughs> we have to, we have to add it to the. Okay, what do you have so far? Fawn scene with trees in the very outer edge and in the distance as you get closer to the pond there's tall grass and then closest to the pond is short grass um, then you have cattails lily pads frogs and turtles okay and then um also um maybe like a fish jumping out and there should be dragonflies flying over the pond and there should be flowers in the tall grass, like wildflowers. Come when you're caught up, and I'll keep going. I might have to. I might have to pay him commission to get this one. It's it's detailed. Dragonflies hovering above the pond, and flowers where? In like the tall grass, like wildflowers, with like, you know, butterflies and stuff that would be on wildflowers. Ants, butterflies, dragonflies. And um, what else? Birds. Definitely some birds near the trees. You know, like forest birds. Mm -hmm. Bluebirds and woodpeckers. Not a lot of them. Just however many birds there would normally be. Just around. Maybe a mama and baby deer in the distance. Maybe. I'm not a huge fan, but maybe. Oh, bees. Jan says bees. Yeah, there should probably be a few bees. I don't know. What else would what else do you think you would see in that scene? Mm. Oh, you know what I saw it yesterday when I took uh, Jamelli on a walk at nighttime? What? Possum. Oh, really? It was like on this, like the lawn and it like froze. On our lawn? No, like down the street. Was it our possum? It must have been. I mean, it's impossible. <gasps> our possum was cheating on us with the neighbors? <laughs> he froze though. He was like on the lawn. I think he was, didn't, he, we were surprised him and he just like froze. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looked at him funny. Like, oh, she just kept going. She's like, eh, not a cat. He doesn't even want to play. He's pretending to be a, a lawn gnome or something. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, uh oh, wrong spot. So anyway, that's that's my vision for. Yeah, Susie, we said turtles. Oh, squirrels. That's right. Linda said squirrels. Like the really fuzzy squirrels, not like city squirrels. Okay. Like like the hairy, long hair forest squirrels. And um, yeah, I don't know. Yep, we said flowers. We got flowers, Chris. Uh, Tammy, I would be very concerned if there were a tiger in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> be very out of place. Big Beavers. Foot. Bigfoot. Uh, that's Michael said. Michael said Bigfoot earlier. He said Sasquatch. Sam Squanch. Um, acorns. We already did a rabbit, Beth. I don't know about beavers, Hillary. I'm I'm not sold on the beavers. 
Not in the pond. I think beavers would be more in a river, right? Because they would build a dam. They make lakes. Because they dam up. Well, but this isn't a lake. This is a springs. pond. This is a still water pond with, mm -hmm. with water lilies. So it's it's not going to be the same. And it's not going to be the same ecosystem that the beavers hang out in. Oh, yeah, salamanders. Yeah, we were looking at the coolest little, he was called a fire, fire salamander or something. Awesome newts. Yeah, sure. I like those. Mice, Tammy says maybe some mice. No? Yeah. Hmm. Mouse, mouse, mice. Mice. <laughs> <laughs> Mices, mices, gooses, geeses. No, not, not geese. Not geese and not ducks, because that's more, I don't know, that's more civilization animals, I feel like. You know what I heard? Hmm. That pigeons are the way they are because we ruined them. I, I, this, that doesn't surprise me. Like, they, they were We wild, ruin everything. But, but at a certain point, we domesticated them, and then they fell out of favor. Yeah. And so then we just threw them out, and then the only thing that they could do is just hang out near people because they were used to people. That's, them. that's so sad. It'd but it, like if dogs and cats, like, fell out of favor with people. Oh, yeah. They would be. And they're like, what are those nuisances? Why are they always. Yeah. Here? Yeah, they would be completely feral, and they would be, they would need us to feed them. Mm -hmm. So they'd be, it'd just be like wild dogs and cats are now. Mm -hmm. But more of them because nobody would want them. Mm -hmm. Like nobody remembers because it was so long ago that the, that the pigeons were. Well, that's that's what we that's what humans do. That's what we do best. We um, conquer and destroy and then discard. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, raccoon. Janice is maybe um, a raccoon. We don't want it to be too cluttered, but you know. You've got a good variety of things to pick from there, so it doesn't have to be everything. But yeah, I thought a pond scene might be fun when you have a few minutes. Yeah, once, exactly. How's it coming in there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's exciting. I have a new coloring page coming at some point in the next couple of weeks. Emily, you raised homing pigeons when you were a kid. Neat. Oh, yeah, water birds. Yeah, that's true. I'll have to mention that to him. Like, maybe. Maybe some bigger water birds. And like maybe one somewhere off in the pond doing its thing. Pigeons used to be real estate agents, which is why some are still great at homing. <laughs> Wow. Michael, you crack me up. <laughs> Good night, Jennifer. Sleep well. You're up late, girl. Jennifer, Jennifer turns into a pumpkin at midnight. <laughs> Hmm. Let me see something. Darcy, why do you have a wrench by your name? Because Jennifer's one of my moderators. That's why she has a wrench. 
She is a moderator. She's a moderator everywhere. On YouTube, on Facebook, on our community space. She's everywhere. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Um, boop, send. Okay. There we go. Nikki says, I was wondering why some people's names were in blue with a wrench next to them as well. <laughs> it would only be, uh, it would only be Tressie and Jennifer. They're, they're the two primary moderators and then there's Sharon who is my assistant who also has some moderator privileges in certain spaces because she does she kind of like um she's kind of the I don't know what to call her she helps out a lot with the the family group the group that that started over on Patreon so It's just the three gals. But Sharon doesn't have mod privileges on YouTube. So it would just be Trussie and Jennifer that would have mod privileges over here on YouTube. Speak of the devil there, Sharon. Darlene, you did a koi diamond art and framed it. That's got to be beautiful. I love koi. They're so pretty. So pretty. Michael, I just sent you... An email. F. Don't know what to call her. She is indescribable. <laughs> yeah, Darcy, like I said, it's just two of them. But um, yes, um, that when you see someone on YouTube with the wrench next to their name, that means they are a moderator. That's how, that's how you know. Sharon's also a moderator in the 499 Facebook group. Uh, as well as Wendy. Wendy kind of oversees that group. Sharon helps Wendy out in there. Um, I think we're getting close. Probably have about 20 of these Fs left. I'm trying to get these guys to flip over and they're being difficult. Cheryl, one of your diamond art pieces has round diamonds. Oh, interesting. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. If it came, if it came with them, then I would imagine it's intended to be that way. Joyce says, will y'all be putting the coloring sheets together into a coloring book? Um, if we do, it wouldn't be anytime soon. It would be a long time from now because coloring books typically have like 50 pages in them. And that's not something that he's really working on right now. He's just been doing, doing the sheets individually. He's only done the one so far, so this would only be the second one. But maybe... Maybe further down the line, if we can find, you know, figure out how to have it printed on good paper, like a, a thicker kind of cardstocky type paper and put into a book form. 
there's a potential for that. But like I said, it wouldn't be anytime soon. Nikki, what does a moderator do? <clears throat> they manage, like, they can kick people off of the live stream if they're causing a problem. Um, they can block people from the page or the channel if they're violating the rules. Um, they can block the spammers. So that's pretty much what they do. They just help out by keeping keeping the peace and kind of policing everything while I'm on doing the live stream. So they can knock some sense into people. Yeah, basically, Darcy. It depends on what platform you're on, what they do, you know. There's different platforms have different things that moderators do and different levels of permissions and such. Um, oh, Lisa, yeah, I remember you talking about that first aid CPR class. It went well then. I hope it, I hope it, I hope it went well. I think you said you were a little worried that they were going to like do this quick little class and then uh, kind of quiz you or test you on it. So did that go well? Good night, Karen. Keeping the troublemakers at bay. Yeah, Hillary, that's a good way. Good way to put it. Amazon has a whole market for self-publishing coloring books. Yeah, I know, and it's oversaturated, so I don't think we're going to go that route. We looked into it last year because um, he was considering possibly doing one before the holidays, and it. I did a lot of research, and essentially the, the end result was that it's really not worth it. Um, it's just too oversaturated. People are selling 100-page coloring books for like $5. It's not worth his time and effort. So we wouldn't do that. I have one left. Do I need it? Did I miss a spot? Oh, oh, there's more than one. Oh, no. I actually need one, two, three, four, five, six more, it looks like. <laughs> it was a good class. It went really well. Oh, awesome. I'm glad to hear it. Linda, what happened? I think I missed something. I see other people's comments, but I missed yours. <laughs> Michael, we actually we actually have quite a lot of uh, evidence in the form of screenshots around. <laughs> well, two more. One and two. Okay. Is that it? Did I get it? Is it all of them? Now we can do the the N's and the O's. Oh no, there's one more. <gasps> Is that the only one? I think it is. One more. One more. Oh no, Linda. Oh, you know, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I think Aaron knows someone who went through that. How are you? I hope you're healing up well. 
Joyce says, can you give me the link and the code for this company? I missed it and I can't find where you put it. So Joyce, I will. I will type it again in chat real quick. But also, if you go to the Zen Zone Facebook page, um, I put it in. No, I didn't put it there. I'm sorry. I put it in the description of the video here on YouTube. But I will type it out for you again real quick as well. But if you need it later, it's in the description of the video here. So you're going to go to this website, paintgem.com, and then I'll put below it this discount code. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to click on that. People say that they're not able. Oh, why did it do it like that? I don't like that. Hold on. Let me do it again. It is healing well. Oh, that's good. No, it did that. I don't like that either. Mmm. Mmm. You stop it, YouTube. Sorry, Joyce. I'm tr I'm trying. I'm trying to make it look nice. I'm I'm very particular. Here, I'll just do this. This will make more sense. Okay. You're welcome. There you go. That's the website. I don't think you'll be able to click on it. People were saying they couldn't, but it's it's short, so you can type it in. And then that's the discount code. Zen with Nana. And you are welcome. Um, okay. Let's see. Let me go back. Yeah, Lisa, it's definitely a good skill to have. Aaron has taken classes for dog CPR and first aid. Uh oh, we had a connection hiccup. Lisa, you had a child before she was napping, had barrettes in her mouth and choked on them. Oh my goodness. The fireman had to come. That is so scary. Wow. Okay. We are moving on with... We're going to do the ends, which is 155 which is this one. This one's getting low. I guess there must not be maybe one other design left that uses it and that's it. Okay, letter N, here we go. Yeah, I bet she was rushed to the hospital. That's that's crazy. That's terrifying. Was she was okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, look what I just found. Look what I just found. Let 
right? Where'd it go? Right next to that white one there. There's another F. <laughs> There's another F. No, that's an E, actually. I'm missing E. I have to go back and grab an E. Bag 826. Michael, you had to stop eating fish sticks after the breaded piece got caught in your throat while you were at the hospital. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's it's scary when you choke. Like that is traumatic. Not a good experience. I actually um no, this is not the right one. I actually had to do the Heimlich maneuver on my little brother twice when he was little because he was choking on stuff. One time, I think it was a piece of a hot dog. Hot dogs are dangerous for little kids. I don't remember what it was the other time, but I just know when I was like 10, 11, 12, I did the Heimlich maneuver on him two different times. I learned it in Girl Scouts. Anna, you're at, Darcy, you're at 28 months for the, wow, like, so over two years. That's quite a, quite a stretch. They should give you something special for that. So that's one of the things, the new things that we just started over on the community space is that I can create and pass out badges. And that's fun, you know, it's not like super tangible, but it's fun and I can actually recognize people for accomplishments like that and, and give them, you know, props for things like that. And I, I like that. I know they do like kind of change your, the little emoji thing by your name, but they should really do more than that. But thank you for that longevity that's that's quite a stretch we had um we just moved all, all of our patreon members off of patreon and over into um, the new community space and there were some Patreon members who have been a Patreon member since 2020. Just a couple, just like four of them. So I created a special little legacy, legacy supporter badge. Um, it's really pretty. It's got a diamond on it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, just for them. And, you know, it's, it's, like I said, it's nothing tangible. It's just a graphic, but it recognizes the fact that they have been in a subscription for our family since 2020. Like that's four years now. And, you know, that means something to us like that. And, and we know these people really well because we've spent all this time with them and no one else is ever going to get those badges, right? Like there's no one else that will achieve that anymore that's just these people so i thought it was pretty special um let me see if i can pull up one here so look these are the badges you see those that i can i've i've created all of these these are all my little graphic designs and i can i can give them to people so they're all for different things and you can click on them when you're over there and you can see so she's a VIP member and says VIP are a rare breed. Indeed. You can see there's five people that have that one. Um, and this one is a superstar above and beyond. So she's done something or some multitude of things above and beyond. Here's a 
level up for someone who had the 999 Facebook supporter and leveled up from that level, they get this one. Um, but check this one out. This is my favorite because I think it's really snazzy looking. Erin and I spent like two hours designing this one. One of the OGs, a sub since 2020. And there's four people. And I think there's one more that hasn't joined yet that's going to get it. So five people will have these legacy supporter badges and no one else will ever get one. So it's really fun. Um, I'm really enjoying making the badges. And I made some, like, look at Sharon's. I made some fun ones that are just one-offs that are like exclusives. So here's Sharon's badges. So she has a network moderator badge, right? Because she's a network mod. And uh, she has all of these because she was, she was in the 499 group. So she gets that one. So if you're a 4.99 uh, subscriber, you'll get one of these when you join the network. And she's got the 9.99, and she's got the Patreon because she had a Patreon membership as well. So all the page, and it says was a Patreon supporter in a past life because Patreon is no more, right? And then she has the super helper badge. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a super helper because she's always helping everyone. And these are the badges you get for joining our social spaces over there. They're free to join. This is where you guys hopefully will end up. Late Night Zen is my jam. You'll get a Zenny badge for joining that social space. And this is the one for Aaron's social space. And then, uh, because she did so much work, to help all of the Patreon members come over to the network. Um, she told me today, she said, you owe me an ice cream for all of that work that I did. So I gave her one of these. <laughs> I made her her own ice cream badge. She's the only one who will ever have it <laughs> for all of that hard work she did moving people over. So yeah, it's really fun. I'm really enjoying the badge things. And you know, some of them are earned by being a part of different things or being at different levels or doing stuff like that. But some of them are just randomly doled out. Like if I see someone do something and I think, wow, that was really cool of them. I'll create a badge just for them and give it to them because I think people deserve recognition. And, and I like having that uh, community space to be able to do that with you guys. It's, it's really cool. I think I did all of these ends already. I don't see any more. Now I have to do the O's. So yeah, when you guys get over there, you'll get your badges and uh, Learn the lay of the land. There's a lot of wonderful opportunities for hanging out and socializing with people. And you'll, everything's in one spot. All of the links to Amazon, to the merch site, it's all in one place. It's all there, easy access. Um, all the notifications for the live streams, it's all in one place. Easy access. It's really wonderful. Okay. O is three, seven, four, six. So that's going to be our last purple for the night. And that is this one. Joyce says, I was wondering if I don't, because I don't have a printer. Yeah, no, we, we don't have them available to order as sheets right now. Just a, a digital print, unfortunately. But we'll definitely keep that in mind. Why are I put some in the way in the wrong bag? Look at this. <gasps> Do you guys see this? Oh, no. Look what I did. Oh, no. I'm going to have to pull those out and discard them because I don't, I don't know what they go with. But these ones are definitely the darker ones. 
man, I did that. I did that. <laughs> I messed it up. Bummer. Oh, well, it happens, huh? These things, they do happen. Thank you, Chris. Tammy, you can't can't go there just yet. We haven't opened up to the public yet. But very soon. We're, I think I'm going to be letting you guys come over um, Thursday night. So if you're here when I'm live Thursday, you may be able to catch the link to join up a little bit early prior to the Monday grand opening. They're stuck together. Can't use those right now because they're not side by side. Patty, um, it's it's getting better every day. This is this is typical when I have a major panic attack that it usually takes about a week for my body to completely regulate again. So my anxiety has definitely been on and off a little bit wonky since the incident last week. Um, but it's it's kind of getting better and better every day. So hopefully by this weekend, I, I will have moved, be able to move past all of that and not have any more moments of, because on a day-to-day -day basis, um, for like weeks and weeks at a time, I typically don't have anxiety issues, like nothing that inhibits my daily activity. That's why I don't take a daily medication for it. But when I do have a panic attack, which is really, really few and far between usually these days, um, it does kind of throw everything off for a little bit. But we'll get back on track. It'll be okay. All right, there we go. Now it's time to go in and do space, the final frontier. Who knows what that's from? Where where are my trekkies at? <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, Patty, it's, it's hard sometimes. Uh, Nikki, you don't have to wait till Monday if you're here Thursday. Um, or if you catch the replay after Thursday. And if I don't know if the comments are the comments from during the live available on the replays here. Because if they are, then then you could catch it after the fact, too. <clears throat> Nikki, you think I should try and match them up? It's just that the, the lighter purples, they're so close in color, it makes it hard. It makes it really hard to match them exactly. And I don't want to, I don't want to mess them up. They usually give you enough extra that it should be fine. Thank you, Lisa. I love you guys too. Very much. All right. I'm going to do the A's first because there's fewer of them. That's 310. It's like the darkest black. And then, then I'll go back and do the H's because there's a lot. I'm going to use the bigger. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try the 10 piece tonight. Ooh, maybe. Um, and H's is 9.39. So that's this one. So this one I can put away. Okay. Emily is the part of the theme to Star Trek The Next Generation. 
which I used to watch all the time when I was younger. You can just view them, so you might not be able to click on the link then, Michael. Jean, uh, some people have said if you leave, if you go out and come back in, you'll get you'll get one. But it's it's they're generally there's the most of them, the bulk of them are going to be on the replay, anyway. Like that's pretty typical. That usually uh, during the live, people typically get one or two. Once in a while, someone will say they had three or four during the live, but that's the most I've ever seen anybody talk about. However, on the replay, you'll usually get them every, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. So if you want to watch to uh, boost our ad revenue, which I fully support because we desperately need it right now, then it um, definitely helps more so to watch the replays than the live streams. I know what some people do. They've told me is they, they watch it live because they like being here live. And then the next day, They'll just turn it on and let it run in the background when they're doing something else um, and and run the replay to get the ads. So just a thought. I don't think I'm technically supposed to be promoting that. I think YouTube doesn't really want people doing that, but I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm finding it very hard to see this one. I wonder if I should take my glasses off. No, maybe not. Okay. I just hit that age this year where I have now have progressive lenses. And so no matter if I'm looking far away or up close, I can't see. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Nearsighted, farsighted, none of it works. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Darcy. I didn't say anything. <laughs> la, 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 la. Jennifer, you haven't done one in forever. You had a light board, so it's easier. Yes, I have a light board. I just ordered it tonight, and it is coming. So I'm very excited to try it with that next time. I think it'll be great. I think I put too much wax in my tip. Here's a tip. Too much wax. Oh my goodness. Definitely on the struggle bus. I don't remember the other one being this difficult. We did the ha ha ha's last time too. It wasn't this hard. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it will make a big difference. I'm I'm definitely excited to see the difference with the light. Do you get floaters in your eyes? I do, Lisa. They don't typically stick around very long. So my eye doctor wasn't super worried about it. But it seems to be especially like later at night. Um, I'm, I'm constantly like rubbing my eyes or squinching them to like clear up my vision. Half the time I can't tell if it's my glasses that are need to be cleaned or if my eyeballs that need to be cleaned. 
it's really annoying. It's a bummer, you know, your eyesight starts getting worse. Okay, did I get them all on that side? Take a look. Do you see any more? You guys can't see them at all. It's too dark. You need an ot light. Patty, I ordered, um, I shared it at the beginning of the live. I'll show you real quick which one I ordered. I ordered this one. This is the one I got. Diamond Art Club light pad, USB, LED. It's got a plug too, so you can plug it in USB and you can plug it in to the wall. But um, it has good reviews from, from the people who have reviewed it so far. So I'm going to try it out. The only thing is I think I'm going to have to figure out how to make, I have to use like a black piece of construction paper or something and make like a frame to go around um, this small diamond painting so that there's not a bunch of extra light, but I wanted to have a bigger one in case I do some bigger projects. Um, you know, if it ends up being cruddy, I'll send it back and look into these, look into the one you mentioned. They also sell on the, on the website for the diamond paintings. They sell one that's just exactly the right size for these. I'll show you guys that too real quick. Um, here. So this is the site where you can get these kits like I got, the space kit. But they have a ton of other stuff. And this is the site where I have a discount code. So if you go here and you shop and you put in Zen with Nana when you check out, you'll get a discount. And they have a lot of really great ones to pick from. I really like the butterflies. They keep catching my eye. So, but they have accessories too. And in here, they don't have any right now. They're out of stock, but they have this light pad. That's like exactly the right size. I think, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a six by eight. So a little bigger than these, but not as big as the one I got. So I suppose that's another option when they come back in stock. But I'll try the one I got from Amazon and see um, see how it is. And like I said, if it if it sucks or if it makes it harder because it's so big, then I'll just return it and get a different one. Okay, now we have to do the A's on the other side. Yeah, no big deal, Jennifer. I, I don't mind showing it again. I think it's, there's a lot of people who came in later and weren't here in the beginning, so helps them out too. Yeah, Lisa, my eye doctor said that they don't do anything. They, she said it's just part of getting older. And unless it's um, unless it unless it's a floater that comes with, um, I think she said flashing white light, which could indicate a torn retina. She said there's just generally there's nothing they do for them. We just kind of have to deal. And I have a horrible, horrible astigmatism, <clears throat> which actually gets worse and worse and changes like every single year. And um, that also does me no favors, especially like driving at night. Oh my gosh. 
And I have all the bells and whistles on my glasses. I've got the anti-glare. I've got the better lenses. I've got the transitions. And it's still, still a lot of problems. Good night, Cheryl. Hmm. Ugh. Wah, as Anna says. Get in there. Oh my goodness. Driving at night in the rain. Oh my gosh, Emily, that is the worst. Like, I can hardly see the road driving at night in the rain. It's, it's terrifying. I mean, I try not to drive at night at all if I can help it. But yeah, in the rain, forget it. I'm like white knuckling the steering wheel, you know, already like concerned about hydroplaning and on top of it, then I can't see the lines, can't see the road, can't see the cars. Wow. I did a really horrible job placing those gosh what this is like way off what am i doing with my life right now holy smokes that's terrible oh dear well they'll line up when i stick all those h's in there <laughs> what a mess okay <laughs> i'm done with the a's Yes, torn eye retina is considered an emergency. I know someone who had a torn retina. Yeah, you have to go to the hospital and or the eye, they, they got to take care of it like right away. <clears throat> Otherwise, you can lose your sight permanently. All right. Here we go. Last thing. Last color. This is a black with a hint of navy blue. Kind of see the navy there. I think it is more, maybe more navy than black, actually. Jennifer, you have big ones. Yeah, I used to have a bunch of big ones. I ended up never having enough time to really sit down and work on them. So I gave them to my older daughter who was into doing them for a while. Um, and then that's, that's why I got these. That's why I decided to connect with this company to get you guys a discount code. Because I was like, I do not have time or energy to invest in a big one that I have to keep taking out and doing the same thing. And it ends up taking me months to finish it. These are perfect. Because I can do these in one night, in two hours, and then they're done. <sighs> you know, Michael, I have a pair of those yellow tinted glasses that you wear over the top of your prescription glasses. And I don't find them to be very helpful, but maybe for, like you said, for other people, it depends on your sight and stuff. I didn't find that they made um, much of a difference in the halos and all of that than my anti-glare that's on my lenses to begin with. Hey, baby. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. I need some more water. 
I don't know if he heard me. Baby. Yes. Would you mind getting me some water, please? Yeah. I'm very thirsty, and I just finished it all. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Should we go in with the 10? What do you think? Should we be wild and crazy and give it a try? Who 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 votes for the 10 piece? I feel like I'm talking about nuggets, chicken nuggets. Should I try it? The big... Does it even fit? Does it even fit in here? Ooh, just. It just barely fits in the wax. Right across this part. Look at that. I guess I could do it this way. No? Oh, yeah. Barely. Almost. Yes, McNuggets. <laughs> that was fast. Thank you. Sure. Yes, I should try the 10. You guys want to see it in action? Tina says try it. Uh, yeah, Sharon, I hope you get to do it along with me. So the so the hard part is getting 10 of these suckers to lay right side up and flat in a row. Let's see if we can make some rows here. So that you can grab them all at the same time, you know? Because they like to flip upside down. There, I think I've got three. I've got three rows going there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten right there. There's two rows of ten. There's three rows of ten. You get. You go. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more. Who's going? I need one more. Come along now. Get in line. And there's four rows of ten. There's there's something on this one here on the side that's preventing. Oh, I see why they're stuck together. You guys need to stop holding hands. We're not doing that now. We're getting in line. Get over there. Get in the line. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we sh we shall try it. We have four rows queued up. Give it a go and see what happens. I could never get the hang of the bigger gem holders. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever done one this big. I think the highest I've ever done before is six. All right. Well, the first question is: Are we going to be able to get the uh, wax in here so let's try that first oh my gosh feels feels like it's a lot harder to push it in that's that's twice twice no third time's a charm no I might need to take it out to do it because it doesn't want to work inside there. Oh my. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. It broke my heart. Unbreak my heart. Pick up all my gems. I think I got it. Okay, look at that. Ta da! Okay, here we go. <clears throat> 
Everybody, this is the moment of truth to see if we can pick up 10 gems at a time and place them all. Ready? Everybody hold your breath. Here we go. <gasps> Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Now we got to get it down here. Here we go. It's a good thing we can go from the corner. <laughs> Gives me some, some, uh, Structure. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. We did it. We did one row of ten. See? Wow. Fancy. Uh, Chris, Aaron found the Lego. He was picking up garbage from my live stream last night. I had him dump my, my little garbage can off to the side here, um, into a garbage bag. And I had the little strips of paper from when I cut the edges off of all the clippings that I cut out. And some of them had fallen onto the floor. So he was picking those up. And found the Lego. So. Look. Oh, here we go. With another row. Put it right next to the first one. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's two rows. Though I slid that one over a little bit and push these back over. Here we go. Yay! Let's do three. <clears throat> Darcy says, I have all the tools, trays, containers, wax, and metal grids to line the diamonds in line, but I can't get into it. <laughs> oh no, Darcy. You've got the whole collection, but I'm just not finding the joy in it, huh? Maybe it's just not your thing. <gasps> oh, did you see? I just did that. I did that. I totally did that. I mean, it's okay if it's not your thing. I mean, it kind of, I understand like, man, I just bought all this stuff and it's not my thing, but it's not for everyone. You got to find, you got to find what, what you love. Okay. I totally screwed that one up. I'm going to get these off of here. I shouldn't have touched it. I shouldn't have done that. That was my fault. Try to get this one. Mm. It's definitely harder. The, the higher you go up in number of things you're placing at once, the more difficult it gets. So I don't know, you know, how much I recommend it. Now see these ones up here are all on an angle, so I can't do those. Really the only other thing I can do is like two lines right here. And then after that I gotta go back with the with a smaller one. So maybe I'll do the three three piece yes they do have a set of mandala Manda is it Manda mandalas mandalas is that how you say it yes they do i saw those on there i figured some people would dig those there's some people like really love those um yeah it's a really pretty set too great colors All right, here we go. Try another row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
that is that 10? Six, seven, eight, nine. I was gonna say that does not look like ten. It looks like nine. I'm gonna pick up another one. No, that's okay. I can do nine. Let's see, I'm gonna put it here. See, there it's too easy to make it crooked. I don't like this one. I really don't. I am not advocating for the 10 piece. Too much. It's too much. Too many nuggets. Too many nuggets in one setting. I'm going to pull like I'm gonna pull this out. And I'm going to go down to the 3 piece. Although this one was doing that thing where it kept coming out on me. Soon I will have new devices and they will work much better than the, the uh, basic one that comes with. Looking forward to that. What if I put it in the other side? Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Patience is certainly a diamond painting virtue. Yeah. It's, it's fun, though. It's relaxing. Okay, I think I can whip through them much quicker. So you kind of have to weigh, too, like the amount of time it takes to set up the 10. Is it really worth it? Not for me. Three definitely goes much quicker for me. Ooh, I got four because one was attached to the one at the end of the three. Bonus. I am also definitely looking forward to that roller that I picked up. Hopefully that works really well to smooth things out. Oops, where did that one go? What? How did I just lose one? Like it was there and then it was gone. Weird. Where did it go? Did it just move over? I am so confused. Huh, okay. Must have just moved over. Jennifer says, when doing the big ones, I would set up many holders with lines of the gems upright so it's easier to just pick up and put on the painting. Definitely takes a lot of work. 
with the larger ones. Yeah, I can imagine and a lot of time. Good morning, Lorna. I am well this morning. How are you? I hope you slept well. Just trying to finish up this diamond painting. We're on the last color, but of course it's the, the biggest one with the most pieces. So working on finishing up all this space and then we'll be done. And then it will be time for bed for me. It's getting close to three. I think that's when I turn into a pumpkin at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is my midnight. Three a.m. You still have to go home, Hillary. You've been working at the office this whole time. My goodness. You need like a um. Of course, then maybe you would just stay there all the time, but you should have like a overnight option there. So if it does get super late, you can just like I have the most comfortable couch to sleep on at the office. Or maybe you already do. But yeah, that would definitely... Then you'd probably never go home. You'd just be working all the time. I like my office because it only takes me about two minutes to get home. <laughs> it's, it's separated enough that it feels like a separate place. But all I have to do is turn off the lights, close the door, and walk out to the living room. And I am home. So, very, very, that, that's one reason why I, I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but yeah, that's one reason why I, I hope we don't have to lose our home, even though it is very expensive, the rent. I'm really hoping I can figure out how to increase our income this year and make it so we can afford it again, like we could when we first moved in, because it is a really nice setup with having the office, it really works well for us working from home. But at the same time, then there's like downsides and reasons why we would like to move. Um, so sometimes those feel like the stronger pull, you know, it's like, oh, well, we'd like to have a bigger backyard space for Jamelli to run around in. So it'd be nice to maybe find a, another house with an office space that also has a yard that she can run around in that maybe doesn't cost as much per month. So I guess it's just a matter of keeping our eyes open and uh, seeing what we can swing later this year. But I really do, I do love my office and I do love um, the layout of this house as far as where the rooms are located. And, and the space of them. I love that. I love that Anna has her own little wing of the house with her bedroom and her bathroom and her playroom. Um, I really love that for her because, you know, she's getting older and I'm sure as she gets older and older, she'll very much appreciate that space. And of course we love our pool and our lanai. And that's really, the pool is one of the big things that like makes it really difficult to go down into a, a much lower, um, most of the rents around here are above 2,500 a month anyway. 
but for 2500 a month, you're not getting a pool. You want a pool, it's more like 3000 a month. So the pool is definitely one of the bigger expenses. It's just so good for Anna. I really don't want to have to get a house without a pool. If we have to, we will, but I would really prefer that for her because it's just amazing for her physical therapy. Although it'd be nice to have one that was heated so she could swim in it year round. But that's an even bigger expense. <laughs> yeah, it's great physio for Anna, but um, we wanted it heated, then it would be even probably a couple hundred more per month in, in electricity costs to heat it. Joyce, you've never used a multi-placer? I, the three piece is okay. This one is is definitely manageable, but yeah, it gets big, much bigger than that. It gets harder. Chris, would I move closer to my mom? No, not really. If, if we move closer to my mom, we're going to be further away from um, Aaron and Anna's medical centers. So, no. A bigger yard instead of a pool would be cheaper, Kim. But it wouldn't be as good for Anna. <clears throat> for her physical therapy, for her body, for her growth. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We're not going anywhere until at least the end of the year. Because we need to pay down a bunch of debt first. So we'll see how things shape up this year. Well, of course, unless we unless we go under. And then we have to move because we don't have a choice. That would be the only way that we would be moving sooner than the end of the year. But pray that doesn't happen because I really don't want to go through that. I'm doing my best to make sure we don't go through that. Pulling out all the stops. Working hard. To make things better. I've seen a couple of places when I was looking for places because we were thinking about moving at the end of last year. When I was looking at places, there were a couple of places that had small, little small pools, like almost like what you would just swim laps in. And I told Aaron, I said, you know, that wouldn't be terrible either. Like it still allows her to get in the water and swim. It doesn't give her as much space to swim, but I have to believe it would still be worth something so it's better than the bathtub <laughs> she's not getting any exercise in the bathtub she's too big for that now Ooh, look at this piece. That's Pizarro. Like a like a sliver of leftover plastic.
Anna has her homeschooling evaluation next week. I have to sit down and take some pictures of her work over the course of the last year so I can show the evaluator um, that she's been, you know, in improving, increasing, working on um, proper fourth grade work and stuff like that. So I need to do that sometime before Monday. Getting closer. Pretty soon I'll just have to go in with the one piece and fill in the gaps. I don't I don't feel like it takes a lot of patience. People keep saying that, but I don't know. I guess I guess it depends on the the person. For me, it just um just the type of person I am. I like the repetitive motion of it. Typically, when I used to work more like jobs with a lot of manual labor. Um, I always take what I'm doing and figure out ways to make it more efficient and turn it into like an assembly line type, um, more mechanical, methodical production to make it, like I said, more efficient and go faster and easier. And so yeah, I guess I, I kind of enjoy the repetitiveness of the movement. It's relaxing to me. So it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's taking any patience from me because I'm enjoying it. So I'm not feeling impatient about it. But it definitely depends on your personality type and... I can see how some people would be like, I cannot do that. Lisa, you should all have your coffee chat in the morning. Well, when you guys are all over there together on the network space and their community space together, you can definitely do that. There's a lot of people up at the same time in the morning and they jump in chat and they say, good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Me, however, I don't take my coffee until about two. <laughs> So you won't see me around in the morning for morning coffee chat. <laughs> but there are lots of other people up. That's another nice thing about having so many people in one place. There's people up like all around the clock. So if you're a night owl, if you're an early morning person, there's always going to be someone else around to talk to. And it's a really nice... Um, kind of like a safety net for people, right? Like sometimes you just really need someone to talk to. And if you don't have anyone else in your household and it's some weird hour where everybody's at work or everybody's in bed asleep, having people in there from all over the world, there's a really good chance someone's going to be awake with you. And if you need to talk, there's a really good chance they're going to be willing. So it's 
just such a nice community space. I'm, I'm so proud of it. I've worked so hard to pull it together. And it just really makes me happy. Yes, Jennifer, I was, I was talking about that earlier. I set up, I talked about that the other night about setting up a space um, where we can, where you guys can share pictures of the project you're working on. And I went ahead and did that. I got it set up, um, I think last night. So uh, yes, there is now a space in the zone for Zennies where people can share what they're working on and other people can comment on it and check it out. All right, we're doing, we're in the home stretch, you guys. Excuse me, we've probably got about 50 more to do and they're all individual. So we're getting there, we're almost done. Need, need some more. All right, here we go. Let's wrap this up. See if I can find all these one-offs that are buried amongst the others. Little holes. Ooh, that didn't sound good, did it? It went in upside down, that's why. Like, I don't fit that way. Hmm. I need some more wax. There we go. Now this looks off. Chris, you like hot chocolate? <laughs> That's cool. Where's Aaron? Um, I don't know. He was in in the bedroom working on some stuff. He's been in and out of here multiple times tonight. Um, I don't know if he's laying down now if, or if he's still working on stuff. Hey, baby. It's 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 three o'clock now, so he might have gone. Three o'clock is usually his. His bedtime as well. <clears throat> I think I heard him in the refrigerator not long ago, and that usually indicates that he's doing his eye drops. And usually he does his eye drops right before he brushes his teeth, and then he goes and lays down. So he might be listening to one of his podcasts or watching TikTok videos or sleeping. This one feels like it's not flat. So glad you told him you want him to check on you. Yeah, he just popped in here earlier. He's like, hey. I'm like, hey. 
<laughs> and you know, honestly, I don't even I wouldn't even mind if he didn't. It was just nice knowing that he also thinks about me from time to time when he's in the other room. It's just nice to hear it. Because, I, you know, I was just thinking about him and I'm like, I wonder if he does the same thing. And then when he said he does, I'm like, well, then come over and say hello. And I know you guys like to hear from him, too, so... Yeah, that was that was a sweet conversation. I like having that little video clip for us to look back on. We listened back to it the next day while I was editing it, and we laughed so hard. We we're like, we're so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I just heard him. He might still be up. Babe, are you awake? Yeah, he's still moving around. I can't tell if he's in the bedroom. Yeah, he's still up. He's still in the bedroom. You still, you're still up. Yeah. You're still working on it. Yeah. Are you getting close to being done with the shelves, or what's going on? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking. Actually, I'm doing the, um, yeah, the drawers with the pens and. Oh, okay. People were asking about you. Oh, what are they? Really I'm just wondering where you're at, what you were doing. Oh, yeah, just... I thought I heard you go in the fridge, so I thought maybe you had done your eye drops and. Well, I went a while ago. I drops. Oh, okay, I'm almost done. I probably have about mm, 15 minutes left here. Oh, whoops. So there you go. There's Aaron <laughs> sorting and organizing his his markers and pens. Thank you, Lorna. I definitely definitely um I don't want to say I got lucky. I don't know if it's I feel like I feel like it's more than luck in a way, but whatever it was that brought Aaron and I together. I feel like it was kind of meant to be. Like we we do fit together quite well, and I don't know that I ever would have found anyone else in life that I fit together better with and um, yeah as much as much as we have our, our differences sometimes it's more than made up for by our similarities and how well we work together when we're on it, you know? The, the pros vastly outweigh the cons, <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> And it's, it's interesting because it feels like we've been together forever. Like it literally feels like we have been together our whole lives. It's a very, it's, it's not, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not always that kind of like same super, uh, I don't know, like, you know, when you're a kid, when, when you're a young adult and you really like someone and very, like, 
there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, a lot of like feelings, a lot of passion, a lot of like this and that and the other. And with us, there's that sometimes, but for the most part, it just feels more comfortable. It just feels more set feels more long-term, feels more safe and secure. If that makes any sense at all, I have no idea. I think I just put the last one in. Let me see. sure I didn't miss any and then I need to kind of push them together a little bit make them a little more snug I think that's all I think I got them Scooch them, scooch them together without knocking them out of place. That's the hard part. Some of them aren't down completely flat because I don't have the roller just yet. Why is this one so weird? Here we go. <clears throat> Use my pill bottle again. I did this the other night. <laughs> I heard some pop into place. Okay. There we go. Snugged them in. Ta da! There's the comet. Super pretty. I like. I like. <clears throat> this is two. We have. The galaxy and the comet complete. Thank you, Beth. Anna really loves it. So tomorrow I should get that um, sealant and and my uh, roll. I think the roller thing's coming tomorrow. It might be the next day. So I'll roll them out nice and flat and make sure they're nice and snug in there. And then I'll put the sealant on them and then I'll find some little little frames to put them in. Very sparkly. And this one took me about the same time as the last one, about two and a half hours. So I guess that's how long they're taking. I don't know if that's tracking with what you guys are doing. You know, anyone who's doing the same kits, is that how long it's taking you as well? About two and a half hours to do these little ones. I feel like that's a good chunk of time, you know. I mean, you can always do a bigger one and put it up and bring it out and work on it here and there. But I like these little ones. All right. Well, y'all, I have the other one too, Kim. I, I haven't opened it yet, but Anna picked out from the other one the Apollo 2 
Earth from the moon, the moon, butterfly nebula, first moon landing, Sputnik, and landing on Mars. She liked a lot more from the second kit than she did from the first kit. So all together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from that kit. And then eight, nine, 10, 11. So she has 12. That's that's a good number because then I can put them, I can do like a um, an array on the wall and do them like, you know, a three by four thing of frames. I think it'll look really nice. So, all right, folks. Um, Information's on the screen. If you want to pick up some kits for yourself, you can go to paintgem.com, put in the discount code ZENWITHNANA when you go to checkout, and uh, you will be able to get a discount on your purchase. And that's it for tonight. Sleep well. If you're just getting up for the day, like Lorna, have a good day. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.